Filipino women of the 50s and 60s were very conservative. Most were very submissive and very religious. According to my grandmother, they were very different from the modern-day Filipinas, not just in fashion, but mostly from their outlook and life. For one, back in the old days, fashion was very conservative. Most Filipinas wore baro at saya, an outfit consisting of a long skirt and blouse. Wearing shorts, sleeveless tops, and mini skirts were not deemed appropriate and frowned on during those times. It was only in the latter part of the 1960s when fashion evolved and gave birth to Western influences like the so-called flower child generation or hippies that carefree or modern way of dressing finally eased into local Philippine fashion. It paved the way to wearing sleeveless and more daring blouses and dresses as well as shorts and fashionable form-fitting pants for women. Bathing suits were no longer taboo, and women wearing these quote-unquote skimpy clothing were no longer the talk of the town. It was also the time that young women joined young men and flocked to bars and nightclubs, listening to bands that were heavily influenced by Western-style music. Even the already very famous at the time band, The Beatles, frequented Philippine shores, and that was the beginning of a very different and progressive modern era. Most Filipino women in the 1950s and 60s were expected to settle down at a certain age. In fact, it used to be normal for women to get married at 16 or 18 years old. If you were over 27 and still not married, you were already considered a manang or old maid. The sad part is that women were subjected to double standards, and being an old maid is somehow valued as a failure. Filipino society during those days really pressured women to conform to expectations and traditions. The complexities of courting included serenading the lady at her home. Serenading was a fun way to express a man's affections for a woman and could be done alone or with groups of friends. The engagement process was expected to strictly follow tradition, like the pamanhikan, the so-called meet the parents right a custom practice during the earlier times where the relatives of the groom brought food to the bride's home and important matters like the date of marriage, venue, and costs were discussed and agreed upon. Some traditionalists still honor the Pamanhikan these days, but it is no longer strictly followed as in the old days. Women during those days were expected to put their careers on hold. Mothers were expected to take care of the household and were really submissive to the patriarchal family setup prevailing during those times. Separations were taboo and mostly done in secret because it was not looked on favorably during the old days and women who separated from their husbands became subject of chismes or gossip. Fast forward to the modern times. Filipinas nowadays are pursuing university degrees and careers are now the priority. Young Filipino women dress up in the modern style, often influenced by whatever is in, in Milan, New York, Paris, or Tokyo, or as in recent years, whatever is in, in Seoul, South Korea. Filipinas are no longer expected to marry young, unlike the old days. The live-in setup was taboo before, but nowadays, while still not totally accepted, there are women who entertain this type of lifestyle, particularly the younger professionals. This is perhaps also due to the fact that divorce is not legal in the Philippines and maybe more couples feel the necessity to really get to know their partner before tying the knot. Single parent households are no longer new either as women become more independent. There is equality in the reigns of families in most households nowadays and women are free to choose the religion that they want to follow. Filipinos are now open to marrying foreigners often meeting them through common friends or online dating sites or on social media. Nowadays, it is quite normal to see Filipinas in the parks with friends, jogging, doing exercise, singing at karaoke bars, or just hanging out to drink with friends. The only thing that remains constant is the love for family, and perhaps that will never change through the times. If you like this content or found it helpful, Please, Please like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button.